Hi everyone, this is Dr. Rukmani Chaudhary and you are watching Dr. Rukmani's Health Update. My today's topic is Hydroadenitis Sapurata. So in this video, I'll be talking everything about Hydroadenitis Sapurata. What is this condition? What are the causes, signs or symptoms? And how homeopathy can help you in this case? And are there any available home remedies that can ease your symptom, your condition? So you are requested to watch complete video for complete information. If you are watching on YouTube, I will be giving all medicines link in description box below. You can buy medicine from there and you can start your treatment accordingly. So let's commence. Tinnitus sapurata. So this is a skin condition in which you have like lump beneath your skin. Under your skin you have lump and that lump can even get infected. You can have sapuration in them very painful condition and this happen in who are at a higher risk and what are the causes so this usually arises during or after your puberty once there is you know hormone in surge and uh, yes it continues uh, in some cases with, with a week or for a month in some cases it resolves on its own factors part see who are at higher risk so we'll be talking about the all risk factors so obesity overweight you are if you are overweight you are obese there are chances there are risks because these lumps you know they tend to form where there's a skin rubbing so obviously once you are obese so there are skin folds and your skin rubs against each other and so that's why they are commonly found in your axilla groin area and under your breast so these are the area we commonly see you know the hydratinitis sapurata so it is smoking if you are addicted and you are using tobacco so tobacco causes suppuration pus formation female female are more prone to have this condition and family history yes it is seen in the families condition or certain disease are associated like diabetes and metabolic disorder or you know diabetes you have what other symptom you have what difficulties you have what bothers you what are the difficulties see start with you know kind of blackhead you have blackhead you have pitted skin and at times they dissolve on its own and at times like they persist for a week or for a month even for years and at times they heal and they come again recurrence is there and flaring up is there in some cases but after your treatment so these are the kind of things and scarring is there once they heal there is a scar formation and there is a you know pitting of the skin uh, you feel like pitted skin is there and tunnel formation is there at times they are heal and they form tunnel below beneath your skin can be associated and uh, so you see a doctor like what in what symptom you need to see your doctor if it is painful you have severe pain and it is reoccurring again and again even after taking proper treatment and if you are having any other associated illness of course you need to see your doctor for all the illness for all the other disease if you have flare up the condition is flared up it is aggravated in aggravated form so in these cases you need to see your doctor complication part does this have any complication any benefit if you don't get treat this for a longer duration are there any bad effect after effect of this condition? complication you are at a high risk of having secondary infection secondary infection can be there suppuration can be there and uh, no, skin then infection like uh, multiple skin infections can be there and swelling can be there swelling in your genital area or having your thigh or groin area so restricted movement if you have these lumps in your axilla and obviously arms or legs so you have restricted movement complication can be there so it's always advised that you just get treated this as soon. home remedies part see there are home remedies and very good home remedies we have you have to understand your case like in, in what uh, no stage you are whether you are in the initial stage you are having just swelling and redness is there or you are having an infection means there is a pus formation leakage is there drainage is there at times they drain they leak the blood comes out pus comes out so just find out what is your stage and use medicine home and remedies accordingly so turmeric obviously turmeric haldi is very common all uh, like bacterial infection this has antimicrobial property so you can apply haldi turmeric paste on the affected part and just leave it for 15 or 20 minutes and you can repeat it like every day you can do this till the time you start feeling better or you can even do this like alternate days basis so this can be done and the other thing like aloe vera 
एलोवेरा अगेन नॉन इट्स लाइक एंटी इन्फ्लामेटरी प्रॉपर्टी एज वेल एज इट्स लाइक सूदिंग प्रॉपर्टी दिस सूद योर स्किन हाँ सो यू कैन यूज डायरेक्ट एलोवेरा जूस और क्रीम दैट हैज एलोवेरा एक्सट्रैक्ट हाँ सो यू कैन यूज दीज ऑइंटमेंट honey is also known like for its barrier property so uh cause you have in complication you are tend to have you know multiple infection if you are not cleaning it and you are having it again and again means there is a flare up there is a aggravated form and there is a pus discharge leakage so it's all kind of mess so for that the prevention of secondary infection you can apply you can take help of honey so honey act as a barrier and it prevents you from the further secondary infection so you can use honey you can do warm compression for the reduction of the swelling and for the pain relief you can do warm compression how homeopathy can help you see there are multiple medicines several medicine in homeopathy depending on what symptom you have your individual approach your holistic approach why you have this your constitution whether you are you know obese or you are having lengthen personality and what are your mental your cravings your desire liking disliking everything matters in homeopathy physical health as well as mental health so this differentiate homeopathy from other pathy that yes we have to consider you as a whole we have to take your complete symptom. so i am having medicine i will be discussing sha salicia we usually prescribe in cases where there is a cyst nodules means you are having bigger pimples boils kind of thing and your pimple or cyst you know acne they are under your skin means you are having under skin lump for that we give uh, you know salicia this is uh like the company's color so it may differ like it can be green blue anything depending on the company and the size also varies and even the form whichever form you find this you can use ha huh? so use one or two drops this is in the drop form liquid form one or two drops direct on tongue orally before or after 30 minutes of your meal can be used ha huh? so this is salicia salicia is used for bigger pimples and uh, usually the pus discharges there the next pus self is known for its uh, like uh, sensitivity a uh, purpose and for pain purpose means you are having you are hypersensitive you are having sensitivity as well as you are having pain in your lump so in that case you can use herbal salve same way oxal is the medicine that is given in pus discharge you are having pus discharge but the pus is greenish so in that case you can use muxol but sulfur usually works in all skin disorder all skin problem sulfur has a tendency that you have you have lump or you have boil your boil gets healed and you have again means once the boil is healed you have the next comes out so in that case belladonna belladonna usually given in initial stages means you are having swelling and redness only there is no pus formation no infection for that purpose you can use belladonna same way like 30 to 100 per cc one or two drops direct on tongue orally 2 3 4 weeks till the time you start seeing difference you start seeing uh, like any changes after indic a tablet this is the medicine that is in the tablet form so these are the bigger tablet and these tablet can be taken uh, like directly if you are comfortable or with the help of water so this is neem ha huh? adde directa so this usually prevent your infection second infection like neem and tulsi body soap so you can use this soap for the cleaning for that part again for the soothing purpose for the healing purpose so you can use this cream more cream is there that is calendula for non it's like anti uh, antiseptic property so you can use this. so these medicines link are given in description box below if you are watching on youtube this video can give you some amount of help if you find this video knowledgeable informative please like share and subscribe my channel press the bell icon to get notified keep watching keep supporting thank you for your support thank you so much